Master Bus Magic behind Nevermind and other great grunge and rock albums. Next on Music Surgery with me, Dr. Bob. Hey, you guys, quickly before we get started, please hit the subscribe button and ring the bell. And don't forget to check out the Doctor's Lounge, my store, and the links to some great samples below in the description of this video. So you ever wonder how they get that sense of raw energy in the choruses on all those great grunge records of the 90s? It's easier than you think. Watch this. All right, you guys, really cool stuff this week. Easy, easy um, technique to implement. has a lot to do with routing in your ear. And even more importantly, understanding the artist you're working for. Let me play you this just to acclimate your ear. This will be a little long. And then I'll um, get into it. Here we go. Okay, so there we had a chorus with no vocals in it and an instrumental section. Uh, this is something I did for Gene Simmons, a band called The Envy. I produced it with them and mixed it. And what I want to show you is a really simple technique, especially when we transition from the end of this chorus. Uh, I just don't have the vocals in this, se in this um, session into this instrumental section. So right here. Really amps up the intensity there. So what do I want to do to enhance that as a producer and a mixer? So what I've done is I have a channel here called Pre-Out. And what that is, is that's just like my master bus. Everything is going to this channel. The entire mix is going to this channel. If I mute that, nothing happens. So all my groups and every other um, track is going to this channel. Then I'm going out of this channel. This is just like making a group on your DAW. Just make a group and everything goes to there instead of your stereo out. And then I'm going from there, this is my output to my stereo out, and here I have an SSL bus compressor, just like um, Andy Wallace did on the Nirvana record, Andy Wallace, Chris Lord Algae, all these guys. This is, you really, I mean, most mixers you've ever heard, this is the first compressor on their master bus chain. An SSL compressor, this is the G bus. This was very, very, still is very popular for guys that still mix on consoles for rock. Um, there's a link below um, in the video where you can buy this at Sweetwater. Um, every mix I do has this to start with, whether it's the solid state logic version the Waves version, which is the Waves version. There's a Slate version, whatever. I really like this one. Anyway, this is your first compressor with most mixers that you know in their Master Bus. So what I want to do is, a lot of people think, oh, Master Bus, you get this you know, threshold right here. I mean, that's really where you want your um, 
threshold your um to be between zero and probably three um that is where your mix sounds the best. Now, when you're talking about 90s rock and you're talking about any rock, when you look at a, a rock band, do you want it to be a clean mix? I mean, sometimes you have to get your own self out of the way of a mix. You go, I'm going to make the cleanest, brightest, most transparent mix ever. And you have to understand who you're working for. And I didn't understand this for a long time because I grew up in the 80s where every mix was clean. When you're talking about a rock grunge band or a rock band or an alternative rock band. I hate to say this because I don't want anybody to abuse this um, technique, but sometimes they don't necessarily need to sound good. They need to sound like they're supposed to. They're not supposed to sound like you want them to. They're supposed to sound like they want them to. So going into a section like this, it's I'm what I'm going to do is I'm going to ride up my pre out into this compressor and blow it up a little bit just to get the angst that a rock band would have if they were on stage. So let me show you that. So the more I turn this up, you'll see there's lots more gain reduction going on. This needle will start to go higher. 1 dB, 2 dB, the db3 db4 db of gain reduction really really adds to the attitude and the intensity of a section like that now it sounds like it's getting louder but it's really just hitting this limiter more let me show you what that's doing because this is after another thing andy wallace did he never did the any makeup gain on his compressor he thought it was noisy i guess um i should probably turn that off that's just a noise button annoying button so I mean, that's why I have my threshold so low here. Otherwise, I would have made up more gain here anyway, besides the point. So it sounds like the mix is getting louder when I do that because when I'm turning this up, it's actually going through this and hitting my limiter louder. But it's not, the mix isn't really getting louder. It's just getting more limited. Let me show you again. So you see that this is just the attenu attenuating down more because it's hitting this limiter louder. So if need be, I can also automate down my level of my stereo out if that feels like it's blowing up the output. But I really want to get that anxious feeling of a rock band going crazy on stage. And if that means your mix isn't the cleanest, nicest, brightest Bob Clear Mountain mix ever, which I love Bob Clear Mountain, sometimes we have to go... I mean, he was in a lot of his mixes were, I mean, all of his mixes were exactly what they should have been. What should this mix be? That's, so that's where we have to go, get out of our own head, look at the band, look at the artist and mix for what that is. And sometimes 
that goes beyond our own taste to their taste, and they're the ones that are hiring us. So to recap, G-Bus Master Compressor on my stereo out. First compressor. It's always the first compressor for me and a lot of mixers. Go to the link below, the Sweetwater link. Hey, Sweetwater is my hometown music store, and I buy everything from there. I grew up 35 minutes from there as a kid, so anyway. Um, and then, as you can tell, everything goes to this pre-out. If I turn this down, nothing happens. This is zero. And then I just drive this compressor harder. Super easy trick with great, great, great results. Um, especially when you want, I mean, it doesn't have to be rock. It could be pop, country, anything. When you really want a certain section of your song, last chorus, solo section, whatever, to really be anxious. Well, there you go. Grunge, rock, alternative rock, and even country. Try this trick and create that extra sense of urgency in your chorus. Believe me, you and everyone else will feel the difference. Thanks as always for watching. Give me some comment love and a thumbs up below and hit me at drbobmusicsurgery at gmail.com if you want to say hello or you want me to work on your music. Take care of yourselves and each other and I'll see you the next time the doctor's in.